All right, morning guys. This is Randy with H.E. Anderson. Jesse Webb, our assembly guy, is going to go through putting together a A20 pumper the way we do it here at the factory. And we'll go over a couple extra details as we go through. So whenever you're ready, Jesse. We've got our diaphragm, the water side. Of course, first thing is going to put the stud in that. We use an anti-seize lubricant on the stud to make sure it's easy to remove later. And then, uh, notice he's looking at the chemical side diaphragm here. As he rotates it around, he's flipping that back. He's looking for any black specks, any raised white areas, any bubbles. He's also going to be pushing on it to see if he can feel anything soft. The diaphragm should be very hard, yet pliant. You'll notice there where he kind of flipped at the edge. That's checking for separation at the edge. Once he inspects that, he's going to go on to the next part here. We're going to be lubing the O-ring before we stick it into the flange. Just a slight amount. And that's just to keep that o-ring from getting cut as we place it into the flange. He's going to take our pad and screw. Of course on a new screw it's going to have a little bit of the uh, Loctite type solution that's going to hold it in place. On a used screw you can just put something like a, a purple Loctite, something that is removable later. And you notice when he tightens this up, he's not going to tighten it. He tightens where it still can rotate. It's tight at first where you can't rotate it. You'll notice he's going to loosen it to where you want it to be able to spin freely but yet not wobble. And that's going to help that to not bind on the diaphragm later. And then we're going to open this all the way up by turning it counterclockwise and then begin assembling the water side of the pumper. On the cylinder, he's going to inspect the cylinder, look for any burrs or nicks. He's going to align the hole there that's in the bottom of the center with the hole that's in the bottom of the flange. That way that will drain properly with the diaphragm failure. Notice how the spring is oriented in the cylinder, the large side towards the small side of the cylinder. The most difficult part of this operation is going to be the next part, and that's just getting everything lined up through the diaphragms. It doesn't sound like much. Jesse does this every day, so it's easier for him. Running the screws through the diaphragm first will help with alignment and help you to get it together easier. I push on this side and I'll push with the gun at the same time. Once the water side is fully assembled, he's going to be working to put together the chemical side. He's going to make sure the spring is aligned properly with the diaphragm. It'll still function if it's not lined up perfectly, but everything's smoother when everything's in the right place. Here we use a wood block that's been cut out to hold this. You can put your pump head in a vise or in between two boards. Notice that once the diaphragm is installed, he's pulling that down to where he can make sure it's locked into position.
Now he's checking, he's spinning and looking for free motion of the entire pumper. Looking over his work, expecting that everything is tight and everything is in the right position. At this point, you have built an A20 pumper.